So, uh, release dates, uh, soft launch, beta launch, uh, hard release. Don't kill me, <laughs> that's not my question. Uh, although I must say, I'm uh, really interested. <laughs> okay, I'm also interested. <laughs> So we are getting really close and I I think or somebody <laughs> will be killed yeah. yeah or I hope that I will not be killed <laughs> uh, that we will doing beta in the second week of the <laughs> October oh, okay. wow <laughs> yeah so this means like the in the three weeks okay that's perfect this is what uh, the guys told me. Okay, so you guys have to agree, that was pretty dope. I'm not talking about my freaking intro or anything. I'm talking about freaking War Room stream, like today's War Room stream. What's good, GoofTubers? It's your boy D, aka Mofaga, aka D23. Back again with some Mo Shadowgun action. I will just say Shadowgun Legends action because I'm primarily gonna talk about Shadowgun Legends. So let's go ahead. You know, before that, as always, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are behaving. You guys are being a good boy. And the gameplay that you guys are watching took place in Power Hub. And I ended up hitting 40 kills in this gameplay. It was one dope ass gameplay, so I had to talk about it. Even though I have so much to talk about in regards to Shadowgun Legends. So if you don't wanna listen to my stupid ass voice or my commentary just watch the freaking gameplay you know don't don't complain don't message me like yo your commentary sucks eat a bag of eggs i'm just kidding don't 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 do that <laughs> just watch the gameplay and you'll be happy anyways um and you know don't worry i have a whole lot of content for you guys if you just don't want to listen to me but uh yeah either way you know enjoy it um but like i said let's go ahead and you know jump right into this video already because like i said i have so much to talk about so much to freaking talk about in regards to shadow legends man so let's let's do it let's do this already so for those who missed mfg did their last forum stream yesterday and they killed it i will say they killed it i will say it was not the best war room stream because my favorite war room stream was where they were you know talking about you know building the world uh or you know just talking about the game in general but it was good it was it was a very good stream if you guys want to watch it link will be in description they shared so many things about shadowgun legends and it was like basically hard to keep up with all the all the information that they were dropping today on the stream so i've broken down some of the most important things that you know uh is going to be helpful for you guys and i'll be talking about that and you know we'll shoot shit and we'll go from there so like i said let's go ahead and you know jump right into it already let's start with i don't even know where to start i don't even know where to start because i have so many things to talk about okay let's start with co-op so let's start with co-op first. Uh, in co-op, uh, Miguel, I mean, not Miguel, Marek, uh, for those who don't know, Marek is the uh, CEO of uh, Mad Finger Games. Uh, Marek mentioned that they have, um, one of the reasons they, you know, uh, delayed the game uh, is because of the co-op mode where they have, you know, brought in more uh, elite enemies and harder bosses for you guys to, you know, compete against and, you know, beat. Um, they mentioned that it's not going to be very easy to beat these bosses because they have, uh, you know, balanced them very well. And you basically have to use your brain and, you know, technique and skills to basically defeat these bosses. So, um, you know, you won't be able to, you know, defeat them easily. So you're going to have some good time, like tough time to basically defeat these bosses. So good luck with that. Um, you will not respawn. If you happen to die in, in, in co-op mode or while doing raid or, you know, in dungeons, you won't be respawning. However, your um, friends or, you know, the, the people that you're playing with, they can revive you. You know, they can easily revive you and you can go from there. And in case the whole party has died, you know, the boss is so badass, you know. Um, and if you happen to play on the hardest level and, you know, you all get killed um then it will restart you know will, the mission will restart but you guys won't have to do everything again that you have already done or you know all the um uh, uh quests that you have guys have completed it will basically be the same level uh but you basically have to do a quick run uh in order to you know get to the boss again uh what else what else what else uh he mentioned that the best loot 
for you guys will be available in co-op mode so if you want to earn the best armor the you know prettiest looking armor or the most shiniest looking armor or the badass armor because uh, armors are basically going to be the bread and butter of this game uh, you have to do the raids i mean you can simply go ahead and you know buy them um, you know, obviously you got to pay money for that, but if you don't want to spend money, you basically have to do the, you know, you basically have to play the co-op mode and, you know, you can, um, you know, unlock the armors while playing in the co-op mode. Um, he mentioned that, he also mentioned that uh, there will be five dungeons or five missions, I will say, or five raids, I will say, in the beginning or like when they do the initial release or at the, at the time of hard launch. They will do the uh, five, you know, co-op missions, so to speak, and uh, then they will, you know, keep adding more and more over the period of time, and you know, see how, um, you know, game is doing and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, so you know, look look forward to that. Uh, he also mentioned that <laughs> he mentioned he talked about a lot of things, and he mentioned a lot of things. So I'm gonna keep saying that. He also mentioned that um, co-op will have three players. So if you're playing a co-op mode, um, it will have three players. Uh, if you're going on like a co-op mission and you know playing co-op with your friends you can only take two more friends with you basically saying that there will be only three people that can join a co-op mission but if you happen to do the raid you know if you're going on a planet and you know um you know doing a raid on a planet just for loot and um, possibly for a side mission if i'm not wrong um then it will be four players so you know you got to balance it out on your end like who you want to take on the raids so you know that's totally on to you however you want to play um the the uh, co-op mode uh so that was that about the co-op um great news you know that we got to learn about the co-op mode that three people in co-op or you know in dungeon mode and four people can go into the raids and uh five you know mission in the beginning then they will start adding um obviously you can have you know or can take um as many skills that you have unlocked and basically you know take the uh, uh take those skills to the co-op mode to basically help yourself to basically you know defeat the boss and stuff like that so great information you know i loved it i liked it and uh yeah that was that about the co-op mode let's move on to some player versus player pvp and some you know general information let's start with the pvp on your screens you guys are going to see a quick uh, gameplay of a pvp match that they did on the stream so you know i um, extracted that from the stream um you guys can basically see how pretty it looks i mean the quality that i you know extracted it from was not that good but you know it's looking fluid game was a little glitchy i'm gonna you know bring that up already because you know it was a little glitchy and was a little buggy it was not the uh uh, the recorder it was not the uh, you know um, uh, Elgato that they were using it was the game itself I can easily tell because the frame was dropping a little bit and you guys can easily notice if you're good enough or you have like a good eye that it was a little glitchy and a little buggy uh, but like I mentioned in my previous videos they're you know working on it they're improving and pretty sure by the time of the hard launch all these small you know uh, issues that they have with the game will be taken care of so no big deal I'm not even worried about that because you know game is looking a lot more refined a lot more responsive a lot more um you know intuitive like i mentioned in my last video um compared to what we got to see last time so looking forward to it definitely am excited and cannot freaking wait um a couple more things in regards to pvp uh there will be two game modes in the in the initial release when they do the soft launch beta or they do the hard launch there will be two wait i take that back uh, there will be two uh game modes only in soft launch and beta if i'm wrong jacob can easily correct me um which will be your 4v4 or 3 versus 3 uh battle that you guys are you know watching on your screens um you know this type of gameplay like a team deathmatch type of gameplay and then the second game mode will be 1v1 or like a you know dual battle between you and your friend to just basically um roam around a map learn more about a map or um you know basically go against your friend and have fun whatnot so these will be the only two modes that we're going to get um in the soft launch and beta and after that you know at uh, hard launch you know or the official release of the game uh, they will add more, you know, game modes. Um, in the beginning, uh, we're talking about soft launch and beta. We only have uh, three maps or three arenas. They're calling them arenas, uh, but they will add more at a later time. So everything is just, you know, temporary. You know, 
they can possibly change how game looks as well at the hard launch so you know don't get too attached to what you guys what you guys are you know seeing uh because they can possibly change a lot of things uh, you know to it as well so three arenas uh 4v4 or 3v3 game mode and a dual mode uh one more thing he mentioned that there will be a winner circle as well at the end of the uh pvp battle uh once you happen to you know win the game um there will be a pv there will be a winner circle which you guys will see at a later time um the guy who has scored higher scores will be in the middle and other two people will be on the side like left and right um to basically you know tell who did well and all that kind of good stuff um so that was that uh, one more thing in regards to pvp that they have finally made their decision that they are not going to allow the skills in player versus players and i'm and i'm very happy about that i had so many freaking questions about that and i you know asked jaco multiple times and i you know you know brought the concern up i was like dude don't look good to me like if you wanted to bring all those skills in in pvp uh, it's it's a hard battle for you guys to balance you know it's a, it's going to be a tough one for you guys to balance so they did make the decision that they're not going to let the skills that you guys are going to use in co-op mode in pvp mode uh which means that your um the the warp bomb or uh the invisibility skill uh all those you know big skills uh you cannot carry them in the pvp you can only carry them in, uh, uh, you know, in co-op or dungeons, and you know, while doing the raids. But when you're playing against other player or multiplayer battle, you won't be able to use them or you won't be able to take them. You guys may have seen, uh, you know, them using the turrets and you know grenades. But if I'm not wrong, they will only allow you to take turrets. Uh, oh, actually, I take that back. They will only allow you to take. Uh, the grenades in the game in the pvp mode just like shadow and death zone but yeah i'm very happy with this decision that they're not letting uh, you know players to use their skills that they were going to use in uh, P in uh, co-op mode because like i said it's going to be it's going to it's going to be very tough that is going to be very very hard for them to basically you know balance and one more thing in regards to balancing they mentioned that um all the pvp all the multiplayer battles are going to be skill based so if you are let's say level 50 and there are some of the players who are you know let's say level level 20 or level 30 so obviously you know their their armors or their you know skills and everything is not up to par so what it will do or what the game will do is basically nerf your skills to basically match to their skills you know what I mean? So this is how they are doing the skills versus skills battle. You know, it's I'm kind of against it because, you know, obviously when, you know, you're leveling up, you have that, you know, edge on other players. And I kind of like it. You know what I mean? I kind of like it. And I would like MFG to let the higher rank players to have some sort of edge on other players. Don't like completely nerf it to the point where a 50, a 50 rank level player is gonna you know play as same or gonna do the same amount of damage as level 20 player you know what i mean because that will just defeat the whole purpose you know us having like you know top-notch armors or you know uh awesome ass freaking you know skills and all the kind of good stuff that's just gonna that's just not gonna work you know what i mean that's just my personal opinion but they can do whatever they want and we can you know basically you know talk about that in a later time uh what else what else what else da -da 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 -da. <laughs> i'm just looking at my notes uh like you guys you know saw in the beginning of the uh uh video that they are shooting for the second week of october to do the beta Wait, I take that back to the beta or soft launch. Well, they are planning second week of October to, you know, press that green button and, you know, give access to the players and, you know, do the soft launch. But that can change. Take that with a grain of salt, like I mentioned in my previous video, and, you know, keep your fingers crossed. You know, we got to hear that from the man himself. We got to, you know, hear that from Marek. And uh, I'm pretty sure if the CEO has given us a word, we will see it. Or we will see the, you know, uh, somewhat of a release of this game um, by second week of October. But then again, anything can happen. Anything can happen. And uh, they may push it back a little bit. But like what I've been hearing and, you know, how everything is looking on their end, <clears throat> I think they're, they're doing pretty good. So most probably they will do the soft launch by second week of uh, October.
you know, fingers are crossed. Soft long will just be in Netherlands and they have added Singapore now. So people are people who are in Netherlands and Singapore, you guys are lucky. You guys won't have to use the VPN anymore. You can play the game like that. Um, it will be cross platform, which means like if you have like an Android account, you can basically use that same account for your iOS device. So, you know, and you can play with people who have um, either Android or iOS. So you don't have to, you know, sacrifice, um, you know, sacrifice not playing with people who, you know, don't carry um, either device. You know what I mean? So that's a good thing. I, I prefer that. I prefer the cross platform. And uh, what else? What else? What else? No melee weapons, which was quite surprising and was a quite of a bummer to be honest with you i was looking forward to the melee weapons because i have actually made a video on freaking melee weapons back in the days and uh they have said that they are not going to include melee weapons i mean obviously there are going to be melee attacks just like shadow and death zone you know you're gonna you know kick them basically or you're gonna you're gonna punch them and throw them on the ground and basically you know melee them like that and kill them like that but they they said that they don't want to do a melee weapon maybe at a later time they will but right now they are not Thank you to the melee weapon, so throw that out of the window. Um, so yeah, that was that. What else? What else? What else? I got the soft launch. I got the beta. No voice chat. So there will be no voice chat, which was again um, quite of a bummer because uh, if you're doing co-op, you want to speak with your friends and you know have that voice chat. Uh, built in game because then this way you can easily contact and let your friends know what's going on uh, but then again there are other alternatives that you guys can use you know use uh, um, Google Hangouts or uh, I freaking forgot the service that we have just for the gamers uh, fucking drawing the blanks on the name but there are other alternatives that you guys can use to basically do the voice chat that's not really a big of a deal but they should have included that in the game um, other than that you know mm -mm -mm. That's that, you know, uh, basically have covered all of the, you know, important things that you guys actually, you know, needed to know about Shadowgun Legends. You know, it was one good ass stream. They threw a whole lot of freaking information at us and I literally had to watch the stream like twice to basically get everything out of it. So things are looking good. You know, they're doing good. They are, you know, sounding and looking more confident. Game is looking good. It's, you know smooth and you know more intuitive and you know seems like it's almost ready so you know definitely i'm looking forward to it so these were the few things i wanted to talk about in this video like i said we are almost there we have waited for the entire freaking year and you know they have made the announcement that they will be doing the soft launch by october and they will move forward according to that and most probably by if i'm not wrong we're looking at November December for the official release again I could be wrong too um, but we just gotta hold tight and wait for that but then again it was a great information for all the you know Shadowgun fans and you know everybody who is excited for this game including myself I saw the freaking stream and I was like holy fucking shit soon as stream ended I you know skyped uh, Jacob I was like dude can you guys fucking release the game already he was he <laughs> He started laughing. He was like, "Dude, be, sit patiently. We'll we'll get there eventually." And um, you know, looking forward to it. All right. So with that being said, that's basically it in this video, guys. I know I have went on for like good 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes, but um, I had to. I had to share all these things with you guys so you guys are aware of it. I hope you guys learn something from it i hope you guys are back on the hype train i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you guys know the motherfucking drill definitely drop a comment subscribe share like and i will see you guys next time peace merfagus yeah